These apps may seem familiar at first, with common names like APK Pure, Signal, and WhatsApp, while also using well-known application icons as well, all in an attempt to hide undetected within the sea of apps in your home screen and your app drawer. There have been over 100 apps detected within this updated spyware campaign, and I highly recommend everyone check it out to make sure the applications that they have on their phone are actually legit and they have been installed from a trusted source. These malicious applications have been spotted collecting location data, including real-time tracking, unauthorized access to your microphone and camera, copies of your text messages, photos, videos, and any other files you have stored on your phone, downloading other virus malware to your device, identifying device details, and much more. These apps have been shared on social media sites like Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, and others. And they have been uploaded to a variety of popular application repository websites, especially ones that host modded APK files that you can download for free. I did mention that these spyware binaries have been found in over 100 different Android and iOS applications around the world. The NCSC from over in the UK even has a PDF report available that you can reference to see if any apps that you use have been found to contain the malware. I'll link to this PDF file in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment here, so that it's easy for everyone to find. And I recommend you go through this list to see if any of these apps are familiar to you. For example, I use the Signal application on my daily driver so because I found that app in the list, I will then pull up the app info page for Signal. This can be found by launching the settings application, diving into the apps menu, checking all apps, and then finding whatever application you see that matches what's listed in that PDF file. Once you tap into that app info page, scroll all the way down to the bottom and look for for the app details and make sure that that app was installed from the Google Play Store.